Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory. And finally, we have got a new Prime player. And as you can see right there, it's Galaxy Opal Lamar Odom. Also in this set, we've got that Pink Diamond Eddie Curry, who does look insane. A budget shack, basically, which is a little bit scary. Uh, and then a Galaxy Opal Danny Granger, and some really nice budget cards as well, which you do love to see. Other than that, we've also got another locker code. We were on stream today, and again, massive shout out to everyone who came through to the stream. We were doing the historic Spotlight Sims, so we've got through our usual tour day. And we also did a few more cards, or collected a few more cards, as we go up through the levels. So we do actually have Jalen Rose ready to be redeemed today. And we're actually really close to Scotty Pippin. So this weekend, we will have Scotty Pippin. So again, I'll give you guys a little bit of an insight as about into how much I have spent, wow words, uh, how much I've spent in getting up from like 900 cars where we started earlier on in the week to where we are right now, which is pretty cool. Uh, before we get into this, shout out to the three MVPs of the channel, Joaquin, Panda and Heiserberg. If you guys do want to join the channel down below, there's a little join button. If not, if you're on mobile, there is the uh, top link of the description is a link that will take you there. It's basically like a Twitch sub and uh, yeah, massive shout out to you three guys and everybody else who is a member of the channel. So, Let's jump into it today. The community poll. Who is my favourite Series 3 player? Not going to lie. After looking at the stats, Eddie Curry. This guy looks like a joke and I'm pretty sure he's already very high in price. But to be fair, actually, at the time of recording this, I think the auction house is broken, which is a massive shame. Now, the limited time event does only say 300 bonus MT for every unlimited win. But I had people in my stream today getting the Galaxy Opal Kiki. So I think Kiki uh, is still out there on the boards. So if you are still looking for him, he should still be out there. On to the agenda. So we've got new um, monthly awards, which I have already looked at. This one isn't great either. Like a full lineup of Evo players for 1500 at the start of the game, sure. But now, no. Monthly agenda, here we go. So when I first came over here, I was like, okay, three basketballs, that's pretty cool. 60 games of TTO, that's not bad. That's doable. Uh, 30 games of TTO as well, to they're offline, I can do that. Six games of domination, completely useless, never going to do that. So I was like, okay, that's cool. So gold ink, gold silver ink, and then the other one there was the um, the black marble ball. So I came down to my basketballs, um, and I saw black gold marble, gold silver ink, and gold ball. I've got all three of them, and they're game modes that I've, well, I've completed domination, obviously, but um, over halfway on Triple Threat, and uh, yeah, Triple Threat Online as well. Why 2K? Why? It just doesn't make any sense. So that absolutely sucks. So we're not going to make any progress this month on any of these rewards. Um, if we get them, uh, by chance, we're probably not going to play maybe 60 games of TTO we'll get through. Um, we'll just have to discard that gold ball, which does suck. Not going to lie, but um, uh, well, 2K is going to do 2K type things. So on to the historic Sims. We have done Brad Doherty and KG from the Celtics. As I said, I'm just going in line now. So next up, we have got Kyle Corver, who is actually a card that I do want to pick up. Tim Hardaway, Kemba Walker. Charles Oakley, who again is nice, Vucevic, Dr. J, Roy Hibbert, Rip Hamilton, and then Barnani, and then that's it. Then we get Hakeem, and looking at it like that, that's not actually that bad. So, doing really well, we are on pace for, and get, obviously, picking those guys up next week. New weekly challenge for another six tokens, we will, of course, go ahead and do that. And, my team unlimited. So, Glenn Rice, obviously, is insane, but, also, 11 wins gets us Pink Diamond Dirk. Which is such a relief. I didn't want to have to wait even longer for him. So I've come down here. As you guys may or may not know. I have four out of the five players needed for Dr. J. And Dirk was the final one. So we are going to get two Galaxy Opals from Unlimited this month. Which is awesome. We're going to have to go 11 and 0 or 11 and 1. Pick up Dirk. Which will then in turn get us Galaxy Opal Dr. J. And of course we're going to have to go 12 and 0 to pick up that Glenn Rice. Who is unbelievable. Six foot seven. Uh, he's got Dwayne Wade's base, he's got Paul George's dunk package, he has got 43 Hall of Fame badges, including every single shooting badge, apart from Steady Shooter, which nobody wants anyway, um, at the Hall of Fame level, and stats like 90s and 95s and 99s everywhere. The card is unbelievable, so I really want to go 12 0 this month, and of course I've got to go 11 and 1 as well, so we're going to have to win a minimum. 23 games this month last month we won 37 so it is possible uh, but of course last month we weren't grinding through all of these challenges so that's not ideal not ideal now last month we did finish on two wins so just got a base heat check pack would be really nice to pull a heat check card because they sell for like 3k each so if we can pull a heat check card here that'd be great sadly we cannot um so yeah if you guys didn't know i am uh, planning on being done with the spotlight sims on may the 18th Gonna get Galaxy Opal Kobe on that day, which also happens to be my birthday, which just works out absolutely perfectly. So 
After May the 18th, after my birthday, that is when we're going to have to start jumping into Unlimited. We'll be done with all the offline content and we'll just be able to focus on online gameplay. So that is the plan. First half of the month is all going to be about the historic Spotlight Sims and the normal Spotlight Sim challenges. And the second half of the month will all be about Unlimited, getting the Galaxy Opal Dr. J, Pink Diamond Dirk and Galaxy Opal Glenn Rice as well. So that is the plan as we move forward. Now over to the auction house. Not really too much going on. We've got a couple of jerseys that I bought as duplicates. Uh, we've got a Palga Souls, which have actually gone up in price quite a lot. And I'll show you guys that in a second. And then we've got loads of duplicates that I bought by mistake um, throughout the um, throughout all my buying of cards. So Palga Soul on stream was up at like 170k for his Galaxy Opal. Obviously the auction house is again just completely messed up. It did the same thing yesterday, literally exactly the same thing yesterday, where it just loses two and a half hours of worth of cards, which doesn't make any sense. But before it broke... Power Soul was going for about 106k, which is big, so I'm really happy we've got these two sitting here. And of course, we have got another one, which we are starting to make good progress on. Really good progress on. Right, whilst I remember, let's go ahead and put in the uh, locker code, which is Prime1, Prime2, May, I think. I'm going to need to check. So it is just Prime1, Prime2, and then May. And I think you either get a... Tim Duncan pack, a Chris Stamps pack, a Dwayne Wade pack. So it's a good job we sold him a couple of days ago, to be fair. Even though we only got 100k for him, which did suck a little bit. Uh, or a John Stockton pack. Okay, so Dwayne Wade or KP are going to be the both best people to get. I do want to get another Dwayne Wade. I think he's going to have the most value, to be fair. Although Tim Duncan, before these packs, did used to sell for like 250k. Whether or not he still does at this point, I'm not sure. Um... Ball drop, what is this? Don't just start over again. Okay, so we do get a Tim Duncan pack. Like I said, I think before these packs came out, he or the, before this code came out, he was up at like 250k. Chances are now he has come down quite a bit, but we will take a quick little look at his price before we jump into that pack. So Prime Series 1, Tim Duncan, he was selling for 200k. Oh, that poor person has taken such an L because there's now been so many of him packed that uh, he's not going to be that expensive. But let's see if we're going to be one of those lucky people to pull a pink diamond Timmy D. I have no idea if it is a gem color of another gem color, which it isn't, it's a ruby card. It's Tiago Splitter, already got him, um, so that's nothing crazy. Um, and now let's go ahead and have a look at the card collector level rewards. So 200 and, no wait, 200, 2,281 cards. So we have flown by Jalen Rose. Thank you very much, collector level all-star MVP, which is very nice. I've earned pink diamond Jalen Rose, who is the worst card in the game. <laughs> like, he's not that bad, but he is absolutely awful. Why did my thing not change in the top right? I'm sure I hadn't hit this level before. That's weird. Um, but anyway, yeah, we are only 19 cards away from Scotty Pippin, which is awesome. So over the weekend, we will get Scotty. We will finish up our current Pal Gasol, probably, and then start work on this Scotty Pippin because he takes a long while. I think he needs like 3,000 points, something like that. So it's an absolute mission, but um, it would be really cool, especially with the last dance going on at the moment. It would be really, really cool to have a Galaxy Opal Scotty Pippin on the team. And then we need another 219 cards of 750, 750 tokens, which is nice. Not gonna lie, that's not too far away. Uh, for Sabonis, we need less than, well, no, we don't. We need 370 cards, uh, which again, isn't too bad. Isn't too bad because I'll tell you guys why. Um, oh, we have to go as if we have to pack this card. Oh, this is the most underwhelming pack in the world. As if they make you pack this guy. Jalen Rose, Mr. Zero Hall of Fame badges, Pink Diamond, stats of a Sapphire card, Jalen Rose. The most forgotten about card this year. It's, it's a travesty that they didn't ever update this card. Small forward point guard, so it should have been nice at 6 foot 7, but um, really, really bad. And of course, that's another card added into the collection, which I'm not going to complain about, not going to lie. Um, but we come over here <laughs> and we have a look. Oh, 6 foot 8, sorry, not 6 foot 7. No Hall of Fame badges. Right, he's got 12 silver badges, 37 gold. One of those gold is Steady Shooter, which also is really, really bad. Um, he's probably missing important badges as well. He has got silver range extender, but other than that, this card is absolutely woeful. Does he even have clamps? I don't even think he did. Um, he might have done, but it doesn't matter. This card's dreadful. 92 drive layup is fine, but 70 drive and dunk is not great. 90 mid range is good, 84 3 is not great. He can't even speed boost as a point guard. Like, that's just embarrassing. Defensively, horrendous. And speed at 80. And lateral quickness of 76. That card is just pathetic. What a waste of a card. What an absolute waste of a card that is. So, um, we are down to 1 million MT, as you can see right there. 
Uh, is that all the shoes we need to discard? No, we need to discard one more. That might have sold for a little bit, but it was only a plus one to the um, three-point shot, to be fair. So yeah, we're down to 1 million MT. I wasn't doing the buying of cards on stream today because I was doing that early in the morning for me when the auction house was actually stable uh, before it broke and uh, I was getting some good results. So we went down from 1.6 million and we added on 271 cards since yesterday because yesterday we left it at 2,010 cards. So we're up to 2,282 right now. And it cost me about 600k. So, so far, since we started, we have added 1,344 cards. We've literally gone from not even at 1,000 cards here, not even at Eddie Jones, all the way up to Jalen Rose right now, basically Scotty Pippen. And it's cost us 1.395 million MT. So, only just over an average of 1,000 MT per card, which I think is fantastic because we have now completed... Every Series 2 set, apart from, of course, the Pink Diamonds, who are obviously going to be very expensive, they might be a little bit cheaper today because of these new packs, to be fair. So I might look at picking some of them up. But so far, I haven't really spent more than, like, 8,000 MT on any card. So I don't really want to go for that level just yet because I know I can get Scotty Pippen without having to spend that much MT. Um, but I think I'll have to start doing that as we go further and further through the um, levels. Heat checks, again, barely bought any. I bought a couple of them, but probably, like, 25 to 30 here. There's still at least another 350 cards here that I can add in. And if we add 350 cards more, we're basically it's a bonus. Like, basically it's a bonus straight away just from adding in the heat check cards, which is awesome. Moments cards, still barely touched any of those. Premium sets, we have made some big progress. And with that locker code coming out today, uh, with these prime players being in those cards, in those packs, sorry, I think it's going to make buying these guys a little bit easier. Because like I said, haven't been paying more than 8k for any card, really. Regardless of their tier, obviously I haven't been going for pink diamonds, but diamonds and amethysts haven't really been paying more than like 7, 8k. And diamonds, if I can get them for about like 6 to 7k, which it looks like we can get a John Wall for like 6k, which is big. Um, so you know what, I will take a John Wall for 6k, I think that is a good price, thank you very much. Mellow's always going to be a little bit more expensive. There's a couple of cards that are always going to be expensive, so I don't really want to buy them just yet. Um, but I will have to monitor them, because I know that, as you, like I said, as you go later on, in um, going up through the levels as you get closer to AD and Dwayne Wade you really do have to start spending big MT on every single card but um, as you can see we've still got 70 more moments of the week's card that we need to add in and quite a few of these are low rated as well like Dennis Schroeder's not going to cost me too much like 6k right there but should be able to get him a little bit cheaper Patty Mills someone will list that card up because he's a ruby someone will list it up for a little bit cheaper uh, Amethyst as well be able to get them for reasonably cheap so really happy with where we are at um, as you can see buzzer beaters don't have any of these yet because they are still a little bit expensive, uh, but we'll get around to those. And then spotlights in moments cards as well. There's 45 of those that we don't have, so we could start adding those in as well. Onto uniforms, we, we literally need one uniform. The Heat Classic Away 2009-2017, that is the only jersey we need left in this section. Uh, we come down here, we've also done all of the statement uniforms, all of the city uniforms, and the only uniform we need from here is the Classic Rockets. We need one more basketball, which is the Lakers ornament ball. One more playbook, which is the really expensive 2013 Heat playbook, so probably not going to do that. The Bulls arena, which is really expensive because of the last dance at the moment. And then a couple of coaches. So if we get these last couple of bits and bobs down here um, with the uniforms and a few more premium players, that is going to be us at Scotty Pippen, which is awesome. And then, like I said, we've still got another like 300 or so um, heat check cards that we need to buy. So that will easily get us past the 750 tokens mark, which is awesome. So... If we need to, we can come back in here and pick up another 12 Amethyst cards. And, of course, that will get us a ball as well. So that will be 13 new items coming into the club, which is nice. Um, there's John Wall being added in. You'd love to see it. Um, so, yeah, we're in a really good position. And, of course, when we complete all these spotlights as well, spotlights him and historic spotlights, we'll get these two reward cards from here. We'll get the Kobe over here. That's another, like, 45 cards anyway. So that will put us at, like, 2,700. Uh, and then we just need to find another 100 cards which realistically won't be too hard because, like I said, I've barely spent anything on expensive players just yet. So really excited with where we are at. Not going to lie, really excited. And we do have some new players today that we need to pick up from the Prime Series 3 set. So first off, we have got the Amethyst Swaggy P. Like I said, though, the market is in an absolute mess at the moment, so I might not pick him up just yet. He should be going for like one to 2,000 MT, but obviously without no bids in the next two and a half hours, that's not ideal. Um, and at the moment I think he's selling for like 4k which I don't really want to spend on an amethyst not going to lie um, he will definitely come down he's in packs with two galaxy opals two pink diamonds and a diamond he will get packed so much so I'm not spending 5.3k on uh, Swaggy P even though he does look fantastic I'm not spending that much on him 
So in my opinion, one of the best Amethyst cards, one of the best budget cards in the game, without a doubt. Six foot seven, so two guard or a three guard, he'll be fine. 26 Hall of Fames, eight golds. He has got catch and shoot, difficult shots, as you would expect from a Swaggy P card. Offense is the main thing. Ranger Stanley does have Hall of Fame clamps, which is really good. Contact finisher, quick first step, very nice. Got Intimidate on gold as well, and then quick draw and ankle breaker. 92 driving layup, 95 driving dunk, 95, 3, 92 mid, he can speed boost, 89 perimeter D, and then 93 speed. This card is fantastic. For how much this card is going to cost, absolutely fantastic. If you can pick him up for under 4,000 MT, I think that's a fantastic investment. So under 4,000 MT for Swaggy P, I think is a fantastic, fantastic price. Next up, we have got Coutinho Mobley, who, as you can see, I have already gone ahead and bought. I picked one up on stream for 4,000 MT, which, look, by the looks of it, was actually a really good price. Six foot four, so only the shooting guard position, really. You don't want to be playing someone at six foot four at the um, small four position. But if you remember, at the start of the year, this guy had a ruby card, which then evoed up to an amethyst, and that card was really nice. So it's actually pretty cool to see this diamond card. 31 Hall of Fames, 18 gold. It's got ankle breaker, diamond clamps, range extender, quick draw, really nice shooting badges, uh, dead eye as well. Quick first step and then gold badges. Got a couple more. He's got Intimidator as well, which is nice. Defensive leader and floor general. And in terms of stats, 95 driving layup on 92. Driving dunk a little bit lower than what I thought it was going to be, to be fair. But um, shooting wise, 94 mid, 96 three. Really nice passing. Perimeter D at 77. That's a bit of a problem, especially at 6 foot 4. Um, so that's not great. So probably won't be as good. Out of the two of them, I would definitely take Swaggy P over Katino right there. But um, could still be a fun card to just run with in triple threat. Online, right? George Murasan next up. Let's see what he is selling for at the moment, because again, I think he's going to be, be being packed a, uh, a crazy high amount. So let's push this up to like 40k, maybe. No, that one didn't have a bit of 50k. So I did expect him to be a little bit lower. About 60k right now. That's very high. He's 100% going to come down in price from that. Do not pay 55k for this card. He will come down without a shadow of a doubt. He will come down to like 40k in my opinion. You can see there is at 52k, but yeah, he's going to keep on coming down in price. So, George Murasan comes in at 7'7", seven seven, of course. Spoil a central power forward. Imagine playing this guy at the power forward with um, Manute Bowl at the centre position. That would be ridiculous. 22 Hall of Fames and 6 golds. He's just going to have all of the defensive badges, basically, um, as you can see right there. And then gold badges. He does have quick draw and clamps. And then in terms of his stats, 80 driving layup with an 80 driving dunk, which is alright. 83 mid, nothing crazy. No 3 ball, thankfully. Uh, no passing at all. Defensively, 95 block, 95 interior D is nice, but no perimeter D, so if he does get switched, it's not going to be pretty. Really nice rebounding, and then really bad speed. <laughs> really bad speed, so not a card that is going to be too crazy. If we can find his Sapphire right here, we'll see just how much of a boost he has got, but of course, I have hundreds and hundreds of cards in my club right now, so it might take a while to get to the Sapphires, which we have done. Can I find George Murison? Yes, I can. So the Sapphire one had 25 speed. Um, he's got nice boost all around, as you would expect from a sapphire to a pink diamond. Um, but yeah, still not a crazy card. I don't think that is going to be anything special. This guy, on the other hand, Eddie Curry, um, who may or may not be a buyout right now. I'm not too sure on this. Let's take a look down here. So he is, but only just by the looks of it. Only just. Let's have a look. When he first came out, he was at about 70 to 80k, I think. But um, very quickly, people realised just how good this card is, and he is now up at 97,000 MT. And there's good reason for that. So I will compare him to my 1 million MT Shaq right here. As you can see, Eddie Curry is still a 300 pound 7 foot tall center. So a little bit shorter, a little bit lighter than Shaq, but not much in it. 31 Hall of Fames and 18 gold. So obviously a few less badges than Shaq, but that's to be expected. That's an opal. This is a pink diamond. He has got quick first step. He has got clamps. He has got intimidator. A lot of defensive badges, as you would expect. Rebound chaser as well. And then we come down here and he should have range extender right there, corner specialist and quick draw. So, 93 driving layup against 97, that's fine. 95 driving dunk against 98, again, that's fine. 84 mid and an 85 three, they're a little bit lower than Shaq, but realistically you can boost those with a, co with a coach sorry, and a shoe. 83 ball control, so barely anything in it there. Defensively, sure, it's a little bit lower. Rebounding is basically the same. And then speed is basically the same. So, Eddie Curry is basically a budget Galaxy Opal Shack for one-tenth of the price, which is crazy. Really, really is crazy. And I mean, if we just have a quick little look at Shaq's price right here. So, at the moment, yeah, well, obviously, because the market's just messed up. But early on, he was selling for 1.1 million MT. So, I have a feeling that over the weekend, I might be selling my Shack. We're going to need the MT anyway to go up through these levels right here. 
Um, and yeah, with them dropping a Eddie Curry that can do like 95% of what Shaq can do, what's the point of having my MT in him? I don't get it. So um, yeah, Eddie Curry, a crazy card from the drop today. A crazy, crazy card. That brings us on to the first Opal, and that is going to be a Galaxy Opal, Danny Granger. So we can compare him to our James Worthy. I think that's a fair comparison. So Danny Granger, obviously going to have that base 11 that um, a lot of people do like to run with. Range extender, clamps, obviously he had an opal last year, I think. Or well, he had some really good cards last year. Quick first step, and then gold badges, got intimidated, defensive leader, quick draw, and ankle breaker. Stats-wise, 95 driving layup, 85 driving dunk, 97 shooting, which is great. Really nice passing defensively, not too bad at all. 91 interior, no wait, 91 perimeter, 82 interior. No real rebounding, but then 91 speed. So my James Worthy is still significantly better than him, uh, not going to lie. So is my James. Uh, so is my Josh Smith. Um, but if you're comparing this uh, Danny Granger to someone like the Galaxy Open Andre Kirilenko, I would still say Andre Kirilenko is better uh, to play that small four position anyway. But um, six nine at the shooting guard position for Danny Granger, that is going to be powerful, very powerful. And then that brings us on to the player in the prime set himself, and it is going to be the Galaxy Opal Lamar Odom. Again, another player with the base 11 release. Not a card that I really get along with, to be fair. Like, you guys know base 11 and me just don't get on. That's why I don't use Hidu Turkaloo. Um, but I did run with this Diamond Lamar Odom quite a lot earlier in the year, and uh, I did actually really like this card. 43 Hall of Fame badges, 25 golds. He's got Floor General, Range Extender, Ankle Breaker, Dimer, Clamps. It's what you would expect from a Lamar, Lamar Odom card, and it is absolutely fantastic. And then gold badges. He's got a couple of extras down there, like Deadeye um, and Quick Draw. Stats-wise, 95 driving layup, 95 driving dunk, 95 shooting, uh, 88 passing, which is great. Defensively, so solid all round. 95 rebounding. This card, this card is going to be ridiculous. At the small four position, this card is going to be a joke. Let's compare him to our James Worthy. Very similar, uh, very similar, very similar, and just very similar. Um, but of course, he is an inch taller. But um, yeah, really, really good card from Lamar Odom. Someone I'm going to pick up? Probably not. Um, I do want to pick up Eddie Curry from this set. And of course, I will pick up Nick Young as well, just for that card collector level um, as we rise up through it. So videos over the weekend are hopefully going to be very exciting. We will definitely get our hands on Scotty Pippen. We will definitely, most likely, be selling off our Galaxy Opal Shack just because there's no point in having a million MT in him at the moment, and we'll probably be selling off our Galaxy Opal Heated Turkaloo as well. Our shoe investments really haven't changed at all. They are still down in the dumps at like 18k, if that, maybe like 16, 17k. So that's a shame, but um, hopefully over the next couple of days and uh, weeks, they do start to rise back up because I think we are going to need as much MT as we can. But um, like I said, the progress I've made has been incredible. Not spent over 10k on a single card. I'm nearly at 2300. I'm so, so happy with that progress. And tonight with the, um, well, before the market broke, uh, we were able to pick up quite a few heat check cards for around 3000 MT, which I'm happy with, to be fair. So I know I'm always going to be able to sell them back for about the same price. Um, but as you can see right now, the auction house is just broken. 3-2, I don't really want to pay that. I was paying like 3,000 on the dot for them, which is okay. But like I said, still another 350 cards I can pick up right here, which is crazy. So let's go ahead and jump into some comments from yesterday's videos. I only got a couple because, again, I got carried away when replying to them all and I forgot to save many for this video. Um, but first off, we have Zyrens, who has been around since so early on in the channel. So a massive shout out, shout out to you, Zyrens. I packed a Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons from the weekly spin, which I forgot to talk about, so I'll talk about that in a sec. I don't know if I should keep him or sell. There's three and a half hours till packs, uh, and I'm going to have Galaxy Opal Gasol today. Do you reckon sell today, uh, to Wednesday, or tomorrow? I would say wait it out, because the auction house is just broken tonight. Um, so wait it out for a day where there's not new content, and then go ahead and sell your Ben Simmons, and hopefully pick up like 700k. That'd be really nice. I did forget to mention about the weekly wheel spin. There was the Galaxy Opal Elvin Hayes on it, who was in the code earlier on in the week. He is on the weekly wheel spin. I got 25 tokens myself, which, not going to lie, I was pretty happy about. 25 tokens, never going to complain about that. Would have liked a Galaxy Opal or a Diamond Consumers pack, but 25 tokens is not bad at all. Next up, we have got Gara. Hey, JD, I bought a Diamond Glitch JR Smith for 36k WRNL, and should I sell him now or after the packs go, please respond. Definitely wait a couple of weeks, and his price will start to go up. His price will be so low right now because of those super packs, so hold on to him, and his price will go up. And then the last comment of the day is going to be from Ricardo. When should I sell my pink diamond, Tracy McGrady? Um, obviously, you're going to have to wait until the market actually allows you to sell cards. Um, but he definitely should have been going up in price a little bit since he was on the Triple Threat online boards. If you can get like 120k for him, I would say that's a good price. And I don't think he's going to go too much higher than that. 
So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Like I said, exciting things coming in over the weekend, and I will be streaming again on both days. So be sure to stay tuned on my Twitter and on YouTube for updates about when I'm going to be streaming. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.